آخر میں تو مانتا ہوں ورلڈ پیس میں دنیا بھر کے لوگ ایک ہوں آخر ایک خدا کے بندے ایک پرماتما کے سنتان ہیں ہندوستانی ہوں پاکستانی ہوں کریکن ہوں سب اسی کے بندے تو ہیں گاندھی جی نے ایک بار کہا کہ جواہر لال میں اور مجھ میں یہ بھید ہے کہ جواہر لال چاہتا ہے کہ انگریزوں کو یہاں سے نکال دیا جائے لیکن انگریزیت کو یہاں رکھنا چاہتا ہے اور میں انگریزیت نکالنا چاہتا ہوں گاندھی جو جنتا کی طاقت بتانا چاہتے تھے وہ یہ چاہتے تھے کہ تم اس لائق بنو پہلے اپنے آپ تم کیسے ہو تمہارا ایمان دھرم کیسا ہے تمہارے اندر سچائی کتنی ہے In 1920, an 18-year-old Jai Prakash Narayan joined Gandhi's non-cooperation movement. He gave up British education, dropping out of Bihar National College just 20 days before his exams to join Dr. Rajendra Prasad's Bihar Vidya Peet. In the years to come, this bright-eyed dreamer would go on to lead an underground freedom movement against the British, lead a mass movement in Bihar that would reform Indian politics and inspire a movie that was shot secretly during the emergency. Let's start from the beginning. In 1929, Jai Prakash joined the Indian National Congress on the invitation of Nehru. Mahatma Gandhi mentored him and soon he became one of Bapu's frontline soldiers in the freedom movement. And he fought for freedom twice. Once when he rekindled a dying Quit India movement and then years later to overthrow the Indira Gandhi-led government in a bid to restore a shaky democracy. While his words and values hold true even today, many claim that he would have been labelled an anti-national warrior life. Logon ki azadi na ho, press ki azadi na ho, isko civil liberties kehte hain, shahari azadiyan. وہ لوگوں کی نہ ہوں تو چاہے بیسک ڈیموکریسی کہہ لیجئے پارلیمنٹری ڈیموکریسی کہہ لیجئے سوشل ڈیموکریسی کہہ لیجئے پیپلز ڈیموکریسی وہ سب نام ہے جے پی واز فرسٹ جیلڈ ان 1932 فار سول ڈس اوبیڈینس اگینسٹ دا برٹش راج ایٹ ناشک جیل ہی میٹ ادر فریڈم فائٹرز رام منوہر لوہیا اچوت پٹوردھن اشوک مہتا امنگ ادرز He was arrested again in 1939 for opposing India's participation in World War II. When he tried to persuade his co-prisoner and close aide A.P. Sinha to escape with him, he said, J.P., I'm sorry but I cannot make the break with you. Let me help cover your getaway. You've got the passion that can make people's spirits soar up. You can inspire them to make sacrifices and accept sufferings. You're a great national leader. On the night of Diwali on 8 November 1942, JP made a dramatic escape from the Hazari Bagh jail and Sinha's words came true. Vande Mataram! Vande Mataram! August 1942, Gandhi launched the Quit India movement and JP led the movement from underground. The British launched a massive manhunt to capture him, dead or alive, and finally arrested him in 1943. Jai Prakash earned the title Lok Nayak or People's Leader and the call for Purna Swaraj grew louder than before. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. JP was one of the few senior Congress leaders who did not accept a parliamentary post after independence. He dreamt of an environment devoid of anarchy and violence in free India for the youth, especially the students. 1948, JP quit Congress and was inspired by Vinoba Bhavi's Bhudan movement where he donated land to the landless. 1957, JP resigned completely from party politics to devote himself for the welfare of the people. 
हर पार्टी यही कहती है कि हमारी पार्टी देश के हित के लिए राष्ट्र के हित के लिए और इस दरी देश की गरीब जनता के हित के लिए है अगर ये वास्तविक हो अगर ये सत्य हो तो फिर हर पार्टी का ये कर्तव्य है अपनी कुर्सी अपनी सत्ता अपना स्वार्थ का ख्याल नहीं करके ये जनता की जो शक्ति जनता की जो रचना नीचे से हो रही है नए भारत की उसमें सहकार करना उसमें मदद करना है Nineteen sixty-six, Indira Gandhi was first elected PM, and JP congratulated her. However, differences between them gradually grew. Nineteen seventy-one, Indira Gandhi won again. JP congratulated her, but also wrote, "I did not like your conduct at the time of the presidential election, though I am aware that at that time it was politically a question of life and death for you. Now that you have been given uncontested power." My prayer to God is that he may keep your thinking pure. To which she wrote back, How little do you know or understand me? I have never bothered about political or any other identity for myself. At that time the question was not of my future but that of the Congress party and therefore of the country. 1974 their relationship soured further when agitating students in bihar urged jp to lead their movement an ailing jp led a historic silent protest demanding dissolution of the bihar assembly on 18 march bihar police lathi charged and fired upon unarmed protesters killing eight people an undeterred 72 year old jp marched on 5 june 1974 JP addressed a large crowd at Gandhi Maidan in Patna. He declared, "We are not here to merely see the Vidhan Sabha dissolved. Total revolution. We want nothing less." चाहे वो प्रधानमंत्री हो, मुख्यमंत्री हो, विरोधी पक्ष के नेता हो, कोई भी हो, ऐसा लगता है कि लोग असहाय हैं इस परिस्थिति में, किस परिस्थिति में? ये सारा भ्रष्टाचार फैला हुआ है, जिस भ्रष्टाचार के कारण इन कानूनों का कार्यान्वयन नहीं हो रहा है अमल में नहीं लाया जा रहा है लाए जा रहे हैं कानून और लाए भी जा रहे हैं तो गलत तरीके से लाए जा रहे हैं फर्स्ट नवंबर 1974, इंदिरा एंड जयप्रकाश मेट इन दिल्ली शी ऑफर्ड अ कॉम्प्रोमाइज फॉर्मूला To dissolve the Bihar government, provided JP ended his campaign, he declined, and the meeting ended in further bitterness. Days later, he was lightly charged in Patna and attacked multiple times in Ludhiana, Calcutta, and Patna again. 12 June 1975, Allahabad High Court pronounced Indira guilty of electoral malpractices. JP demanded her immediate resignation. ये नीचे से बुनियाद से जो डेमोक्रेसी बने ये नहीं कि करोड़ों वोटर हैं और पांच वर्ष में उनका वोट हो जाए और कोई कुछ कह दे कोई कुछ कह दे कोई जात की बात कोई मिल्लत की बात कोई धर्म कोई मजहब कोई रुपया और कोई शराब और कुछ न गाली गलौज करके वोट ले ले और उसको हम कह दें कि बस ये जनता की हुकूमत बन गई भाइयों और बहनों राष्ट्रपति जी ने आपातकाल की घोषणा की है 25 June 1975 Indira announced emergency at midnight marking it a black day in the history of Indian democracy a day later JP was arrested along with his aide Morarchi Desai and other opposition leaders he stayed in solitary confinement for 130 days before he was released on parole after his brother secretly wrote to Indira about his failing health but even in the frailest of health he inspired a gathering of 1 lakh people at the ramleela grounds in delhi who unitedly recited ramdhari singh dinkar's revolutionary poem singhasan khali karo ke janta aati hai singhasan khali karo ke janta aati hai humne apne desh ke constitution ki buniyad secularism ke upar kyon rakhi hai kya iski wajah hai आज तो मैं देखता हूं जिस तरह से 
आम जनता का दिमाग बिगड़ता चला जाता है सुधर नहीं रहा है बिगड़ रहा है और चूंकि ये सेकुलर पार्टियां अपना कर्तव्य पूरा नहीं करती इसलिए जो थोड़ी सी तादाद है जिनकी ऐसी पार्टियों की जो भले कहे मुंह से कि सेकुलरिज्म में हम भी मानते हैं लेकिन असलियत यह है कि वो मानते नहीं उनका प्रचार खुल के होता है इन राजनीतिक नेताओं से मैं प्रार्थना करूं हाथ जोड़ के कि जो आपका कर्तव्य है लोक शिक्षण का पब्लिक एजुकेशन का पॉपुलर एजुकेशन का वो तो आप करें वो तो ही सबसे बहुत कीमती चीज तो नहीं है हुकूमत और मिनिस्ट्री तो सबसे बड़ी चीज नहीं है देश भी तो कुछ है As part of his movement against Indira he merged the Jansang the precursor to BJP into his movement and called RSS the muscle power of the movement He famously declared if the RSS is fascist so am I on his insistence the Jansang also merged itself into the Janata Party 18 January 1977 amid growing agitation Indira was forced to revoke the emergency and announce fresh elections JP influenced Jansang to not campaign on its pro-Hindutva ideology in the 1977 Lok Sabha elections. Janata Party defeated Indira to become the first non-Congress government to rule India. JP was the silent kingmaker. He went on to inspire several young non-Congress leaders: Lalu Prasad, Nitish Kumar, Mulayam Singh, Ram Vilas Paswan, VP Singh among others. 8 October 1979 just 3 days before his 77th birthday he breathed his last the nation lost their lok nayak even today jp and the values he stood for serve as a constant reminder of the freedom struggle and the spirit of democracy he fought for all his life